Hello friends and welcome to the library's cooking tutorial with me, Mr. Max. Today I will be showing you how to make guacamole and chips for Hispanic Heritage Month. So for this tutorial you will be needing the following ingredients. An avocado, I chose a large size avocado but you can use any other size, garlic powder, a yellow onion, cilantro, if you're feeling a little frisky you can add jalapeno or any other chili pepper, salt, and of course a pestle and mortar. So we'll start off by first uh, getting our cilantro, chopping that off, same with the yellow onion. So we'll only need a little bit of cilantro. This is good. And then we'll go ahead and just quickly chop this up. Just like that. And then now we'll start with the onion as well. So once it's all fully chopped, we're going to go ahead and add the onions into the mortar. And same with the cilantro. So now that we have our ingredients in the mortar, we're going to go ahead and start chopping them up with the pestle. Just like that. And we're just trying to get all the juices from the ingredients to mix in well. That way we can start adding the avocado right after this. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and cut the avocado. And I'll show you guys how to do it like so. So it'll look like this. And then you can just get the inside out. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the avocado with a spoon, just like that. And then do the same with this one. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and put them in the mortar. And we're going to use a fork so that we can go ahead and do this part. I find that using the fork is really helpful in uh, getting the avocado really chopped in with the cilantro and the, and the onion. And then we'll do the same with the second of half of the avocado. We'll just put it in there and then we'll just chop with the fork. Alright, so now that it's all nice and chopped and mixed together, we're going to go ahead and put some lemon juice on it. So this is the part that's going to prevent the avocado and all the ingredients from oxidizing quickly. So you can be very generous with this part because it also adds a lot of fresh flavor to the guacamole. And then I'm also going to add the garlic powder And we're also going to sprinkle in the salts. And then we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the serrano chili, which is going to give it a flavor, a nice touch for the guacamole, just like that, and then top it off with a little cilantro, and that's how you make guacamole. For the chips, we will be needing tortillas, uh, yellow tortillas or white tortillas are good, we'll be needing uh, oil, we'll be needing salt, and of course we are be going to be using a fryer for this one. However, you can use any pan with oil that will work just as well. All right, so I usually grab about four tortillas, and these are corn tortillas. Uh, you usually use corn tortillas, not flour, for making the chips. 
cut across like so, and across, cut again, like that, and that's pretty much it. You have already triangle shapes, which is what you need for the chips. So then we're gonna add these into the fryer. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and fill up the fryer with our canola oil, and we will be filling it up for 2.5 liters. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and start the fryer. All right, so the fryer is still heating up and I am just going to start placing the tortillas that were, we just finished cutting. That way they are ready to be fried when the fryer is ready. And then that should be good. Just make sure to separate them a little bit. That way they don't get stuck together when they're frying. All right, so now that the fryer is ready, we can go ahead and put in the basket of tortillas. And you're gonna start hearing the sizzle and we're gonna cover that up and let that fry for a couple of minutes. And then we'll, we'll go back and check the one All right, so now it looks like these are almost ready. You can use a fork to move them around. Now these look about ready. So we're gonna go ahead and Remove these from here, we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna start a new batch. All right, so now that all the chips have been fried up, we're gonna go ahead and season them with some salt. I'm gonna sprinkle it generously. And then, voila, it's done. So now it's come to the tasting part. Mmm, really good. Buen provecho.